Talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, either I respect that. If she be down the ride, no, oh, I bet that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is JH. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Is everybody crisp? Is everybody you don't you don't get to say that? Is everybody iry? Get your hat. Let's talk. So we're gonna jump into a video in a second. But I, I just, I had some issues and I wanted to discuss it with a, uh, what, are, what are you? A clerk, a clerk. Uh, for those that don't know, this is um, my child's mother, uh, my ex-wife, uh, my best friend, um, all that other good stuff. Uh, did, you, did she make a face when I wasn't looking? Nonetheless, um, yeah, so I got an issue with clerks. And um, I think that you're, you're, I think that clerks are rude. Do you believe that clerks are rude? They can be. Oh, you, they can be. Why, yes. why, why are clerks rude? I don't know. I think the older ones are rude. I think they are. Okay. I've seen it firsthand. That they're rude. So if you were a customer and you had to encounter some people that are at your place or other places, would it discourage you? Yes. Why so? Um... Because they're rude. They're the way they speak to the customers. And yeah, pretty much the way they speak to the customers. Okay. Whose fault is that? That's theirs. Not management? Well, it's management also, but I think it's theirs. Okay. All right. Do you think that they're rude or angry because we have a toxic work environment? No, I don't think that has nothing to do with it. I think they're just older and they need to get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> like my man said, in the world and in the way. Okay, all right. Do you have a toxic work environment at your place? Ah, uh, yes. You do? I feel like I do. Okay, because I work at the plant. She works about 45 miles away from here. So why, why would you say it's toxic? <laughs> you have your 204 B's and your supervisors that feel that they could talk to clerks and all the other people the way they want to. So you think it's management that's created it? Mm hmm Oh. So you think management is an issue? Oh yes. Oh, oh yes. okay. For that person that says that we don't speak negatively about management. Um, so our daughter is a carrier as well. Yes. Does she say she has a toxic work environment at her place? No, she doesn't. That's the most odd thing ever. <laughs> she loves her place. I, I get jealous. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just her work ethic. She just kind of lets things brush off her shoulder. But um, so you think. I, let it, I brush it off my shoulder too because I don't. Engage. communicate with them like that i come in do my job and i leave but one more time what'd you say i come in do my job and leave that's it but i hear it and i see it and i mean i walk the other way but i see what goes on do you think that some of the employees help create it or no or is it more so start from the top mm, it could fluctuate it could be both okay so it's it's both sides of the yeah. coin. Yeah. Do you think that you have you contribute to any of the toxicity at your workplace? No. Me myself personally? Yes. No. Definitely okay. not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um so there's no real happy medium because you have a lot of younger people that were younger than you and older people, right? So you like you're right dead smack in the middle? I'm in the middle, yes. And the supervisors are younger than me. Younger, okay. And then they get a little bit of power and what happens? They go to their head. Mm. Do they get proper training? I don't think they do. Were they supervisors and before you got there or as you were there? No, they were supervisors before I got there. One just became a regular as a carrier, but she's a 204B. Okay. So. And you don't think this, who's a, she a 204B too, to the carriers? 
uh, she's a 204B as at, the at the station itself, but she's also a carrier and she turned regular. Okay. So, and now she's supervisor. Yeah. And she, okay. So would, would it be fair to say that she was a worker, she worked next to other carriers and now she's in management. So technically this toxicity comes from us. Is that fair to say? I know I've been trying to drill that in a lot of people, but in your opinion. No, I think it, when they get that power, the power goes to their head mm -hmm. and they feel like I'm, I'm big dog, top dog, and you got to listen to me. They could talk to you any kind of way. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they were at one time, they were you. They were yes. us. Yes. So just like I said, they were us and then they got power. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. So it's us. Okay. <laughs> kind, kind of where it drilled in. So I didn't tell you about the shooting. Um, one of the people at one of the plants or stations um, got into an altercation and she had her weapon on her and it was with somebody from the outside and she shot the person from the outside that came to the job and she I'm pretty sure she's losing her job mm -hmm. um but how do you feel about that because I mean they said security was there and security couldn't I do thought, it I thought you're not supposed to bring your weapons weapons on yeah, it's kind of damned gun. if you do damned if you don't because yeah you're not supposed to bring your weapons there was security there but however much the altercation happened um then she ended up uh, shooting, and I'm going to show this video in a minute, um, shooting somebody two times in the chest or some two so times. So just not safe in the post office either. And, you know, here, here's the piggyback off of that. At my plant, uh, plant manager said that people are not supposed to have their phones. I'm guessing people are making it more than what it is, but there's, she's saying to keep their phones away. They're making it, and this is the top it off. She said if there's an emergency, uh, they need to call the hotline and then a supervisor is going to answer the hotline and then contact you as a worker at the plant or the station. That never happens because we have customers coming in saying that they've called and no one answered the phone. And I've heard the phone ring, 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 okay. ring. So at our station, if that ever happened... Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused about that because I understand that they don't want people watching movies on their phone throughout the day and, you know, because it's distracting. But at the same time, if there's a real emergency, how do you, you know, work the happy medium? Because honestly, I believe that what initially happened is people had the option to have their phone, but they took advantage of it. Mm -hmm. And now because you cannot single out one person and say yo you you gotta do this because then they'll use and say mm -hmm. it's discrimination a eeo but once they make it a blanket policy then it can be enforced mm -hmm. so everybody has to suffer for the few that screw up which i would ask in my scenario why would the union not fight and say yo listen you can't do that there's too much going on in the world today there's too many people being sick. We had the COVID. We had so much going on. People need to be in direct contact with emergency authorities and their loved ones if anything has happened. Oh, because yes. people say, oh, no, it can't happen here. Yeah, it's happened. So um, what would the unions do in a scenario like that? Because I know there's a few union reps. Can they push back against management and say, no, nah, man, we, 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 they need their phones. Understand they're not supposed to have them out talking on their ear, but we need to have our phones. Somebody drop a comment and let us know what you think. But um, I'm not going to hold you long. Um, so in closing, uh, nobody has heard from you in a long time. Um, how, how are you? How are you doing overall? at your position? I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm hanging in there. I'm happier than what I was before. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I can't wait to be regular. Not there yet, huh? Still striving. Uh, yes. So for those- Another that, week. Another week. So those that don't know, here's here's how it goes. Those are the ones that complain they, they didn't make regular in a short period of time. She started at one station for how long? A year. 
she was at a station for a year and then applied to another place and relocated, relocated and had to start all start over. Start over. And I've been there now going on two years. So she's three years in and still isn't career yet. And your schedule looked like what? It's all over the place. It's so, it's difficult. But what, what does all over the place mean? Um, some days I start at two in the morning. Some days I start at three in the morning. Some days I start at 4.30 in the morning. Some days I start at uh, 11.30 in the morning. And some days I start at 12 in the afternoon. And some days I start at one in the afternoon. Okay. Uh, you, you have a child? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I do as well, right? Y okay. Yes, we do. And we don't live together. No. Uh, and we both work at the post office. We make it work. With with a very hyper young man. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. So, can it be done? It can be done. It, it's difficult. It's a lot of breathing and sign, but it can be done. Okay. All right. I guess it just depends on the individuals and the maturity level and, you know, whether or not you want it because, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't afford to pay two rents. Um, I just can't. And she went from how many years did you work as a dental assistant? 10. 10 years of dental assistant, COVID came and then jelly whopped us all. Big had to time. start over. So, uh, this is hopefully, uh, information and inspiration to somebody this is a little lower tone but we're gonna get into that crazy video in a second um in closing i'd like for you to give any words to anybody because there's so many people that are stressed right now with their four hours five hours six hours they're working these tiny hours you remember those days when you used to work just a couple hours a week well i'm working currently six hours mm. um i'm on light duty but yes, I'm doing six hours a day and I make it work. I mean, it is what it is. So it's you, it's how you, how you make it. Okay. It's how you make it. All right. But I do have a question for you. A question for me? Yes. <laughs> While we're on camera? Well, okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, that website that you was um that you've been posting up about what loans oh the money loan thing yes oh you don't want to ask me for no loan oh no so you want to go and use bmg money yes instead of it it's, yeah it's bmg money if you want this when i after i post this video you go in the video description and but why i gotta go on because i need your click to for a view Oh, oh, okay. That'll work. That'll <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you really not going to ask me for no money alone? No, thank you. Wow. I almost feel, I don't hold nothing against your head. That's interesting. I know, but um, I mean. Wow. On, on This is embarrassing. You could let, you know, anyway. Well, I'm. Anyway, so yeah, it's BMG money. For those that don't know, it's a loan thing that's underneath there. You know, you got to go. It's $2,000. $2,000 oh, what? They give you $2,000 initially. Oh, okay. And then after that, you work your way up and then you got to make sure that you're doing it, you know, decent. We'll talk about this after we get off if you really need some money. Okay. Um, and it's in your description though, right? Oh, you really not going to let... This is some bull. I, I would never hold nothing against your... This. Okay. I'm just asking. Oh my goodness. Anyway, yes, I will take care. Yes. It's in the video description. It's BMG money, loans for feds or whatever it is. You got to be working at the post office for a year and yeah, they'll, they'll hook you up. Um, that's all you need? Just to be working at the post office for a year and you set up your allotment and you just apply it, no credit check yeah oh okay no no hidden nothing no it's a very high interest rate but i mean it's better than a payday loan i can't you could really could talk to, this, man I'm this is some find, raw stuff i just right want to get the information i've heard oh. you talk about it but i haven't got all the details and if i wanted you needed to know for money. sure I wanted to know for sure what it was and I wanted to ask you. Oh, is it because you have no money because you you using it up and your break is coming and you ain't got no money? It, that could be That's it. what it is. You see people that call out all the time and they ain't got no... <laughs> but, you know, but she my had, break is coming and okay. I want to take 
Okay. Yeah, you did say your break is coming. Yes. All right, cool. I understand. Thank so, you. Yeah, all right. All right. In front of everybody? This is embarrassing. Wow. Anyway, um, yeah. All right, thanks. Man, I don't even know what to say after. If you guys are still here, just uh, watch it. Yeah, I can't even set up for a negative video now. You just kind of, look, there's a video. You guys, after this, just check it out and see, leave your opinion about, you know, this foolishness. About eight of you guys text me at 2.30 in the morning. 2.30 in the morning and, um, after investigators say a U.S. Postal Service worker fired several shots at another person after police described that as a domestic incident, Fox 5 learning there was an ongoing dispute between the victim and the suspected shooter. Fox 5's Tisha is joining us live tonight from Northeast with those details. Tisha? And Marina, that is correct. We have learned that an ongoing dispute is apparently to blame for this shooting. Now, what we don't know is what the root of that dispute is. Police say that remains under investigation, but it all unfolded right here behind me at this facility here in Northeast. Now, the victim and the suspected shooter are both female. The violent encounter took place early this morning between several people at the USPS facility here in the district on Brentwood Road Northeast. The USPS employee reportedly shot the victim twice near the entrance of the building where told security was present at the time of the shooting. The Postal Service employee who fired her gun was not acting in the capacity of a security worker. She is not a USPS security guard or police officer. Furthermore, after the shooting, shooter fired the shots, Fox 5 has learned she initially left the scene before returning. Police say there were several witnesses and people present during the incident. We do know that the victim has gone to the hospital. Uh, there were two different, at least two uh, shots fired uh, at the victim. The victim was struck at least twice and the suspect is in custody. Federal and local law enforcement agencies, including D.C. police, are assisting the U.S. Postal Inspection Service with the investigation. The victim, again, is not a USPS worker and remains at the hospital. The suspect is in custody. USPS says, based on their policy and since there have been no charges filed just yet, they do not plan to release more information about the suspected shooter. We can tell you that investigators remain on site and here tonight. Back to you. I, anyway, y'all have yourself a great rest of your day. Um, this is JH and this is uh, Missy. Missy. Miss, Missy. 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 The heartbeat. And uh, we out.